Do-do-do. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I wasn't gonna record today. I was actually gonna come out here and have a good time. And uh, Chris actually caught him a good size slabzilla. I just caught me a 3.05. So we got a, a doo 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 up in the up in the boat today. Uh, guys, we just banked the boat and we're about to start walking the banks. Uh, they should be less than five feet towards the bank. Uh, that's where they normally spawn at. So uh, hopefully we can get y'all some content. Chris, what you got going on over there? I'm putting the chatterbait back on. There's a deep pocket right here. I'm gonna throw it out there and bring it back towards the shallow. There you go, guys. That's his game plan. We're gonna run a frog, guys. I've been I've been getting quite a bit of bites off the frog. Look at this heaven right here. Tell me I ain't gonna catch a fish. Y'all stay tuned. Watch this here. Ooh, I can see them moving. All right, guys. Let's see if we can get something out here. I think we can catch something in this little this little channel. I can see them all moving. Guys, it's real windy out here. Uh, Chris was out here yesterday. Uh, they caught a couple bass. A lot. Of, they caught crappie, and they were fishing off a of live bait. So they really didn't uh, run any lures. And uh, so we're out here today, uh, just checking out the spawn and just trying to see where these fish are at right now. Uh, Texas this year, Texas, depending on what type of body water that you're on, uh, I think the, the spawn ran a little bit late. You know what I mean? Normally it'll hit like the third week of, of uh, March, but I think, uh, hold on guys, Chris is on. It got a chatterbait fish. A nice one. Ooh, y'all, he got him a three pounder, I bet. Maybe two and a half. Here, bring it up here on the bank. That's a three for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Nice, y'all. First cast. Look at that chatterbait gone down the hatch. Damn. You want to wait out? Nah, that's right. Oh, shit. You're good. All right, guys. Chris is on board. This is both. Uh, this is our. That's his first batch for today. Nice, beautiful. And that has to be like a. That has to be a two and a half, three. Yeah, for sure. Yep. There's a scale right there. Well, I guess I'll go and wait. Yeah, I got you. There goes, they go. Two eighty four, two eighty five, guys. Almost a doo doo doo. Might as well call it a three pounder. All right, good job, Chris. You almost screwed me on my drag too, Ernest. I should have. I should have loosened his drag up like he does me all the time, y'all. My drag was loose. Ah, uh, that's on him. All right, guys. Chris got on the board with that little beautiful fish. Got him all, got him a, a chatterbait fish. Kind of windy out here, y'all. We might have to make some noise. Depending where you're at on the, on the, on the body type of water, it depends where you're at. Uh, we've been getting kind of some of these channel, channels where the water's kind of uh, slick, you know what I mean? Where there, there ain't too much of an undercurrent. But I believe right here in this area, there's a big old Judy in here somewhere laying in their bed. So I'm just gonna keep on tossing out here with the frog. It's a sex, uh, sexy, sexy, sexy shad color frog. And uh, let's see if we get any luck. Guys, I'm trying to catch me uh, something that's bigger than a six pounder. I'm looking for my, I'm looking for a seven plus is what I'm looking for. The biggest bass I've caught is a seven pounder. Caught it at Elmo, Texas, uh, on some private land as well. And uh, yeah, so I've been wanting to hood a double. I've been trying to catch a double digit, y'all, but those are hard to find. I think you're gonna have to be on a lake, on a boat, fish finder or something. And then we get a bite here soon. It looks like bass heaven over here. This place is dynamite, y'all. This is 
one of my favorite fishing spots in Texas. I don't know if y'all can see that frog coming through there, but man, if I was that frog, I'd be scared. You lost him? Thought Chris had one, guys. All right, here you go. Go second one, me and back to back, y'all. That was a good one. Guys, I believe that was a female too. She was heavy. I think that would might have been another two and a half pounder right there. Man, this frog is this, this frog. It brings a big fish out, but I don't know what the deal is. The hook ratio, for some reason, I didn't have any luck. That was like maybe five feet from the bank, big old hogzilla. Sorry, Chris got one. He got closer to the bank, like I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Good one, Chris. Got a little baby boy protecting his old lady. Protecting his old lady. Guys, the main thing is about braid. You gotta make sure you have that slack out of this braid because, man, you can lose a fish. You don't want no type of hesitation. That's the main reason why I don't like fluorocarbon. That stuff stretches too much. Here we go. Come on, you sucker. Nope, oh, see, there we go. Let off another one. Wow. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, y'all. That's a three and a half right there. Look at that frog down the hatch. Good man. Woo! Gosh, that's what I live for, y'all. Mmm, 
boy, he took that down the hatch. Man, y'all gonna see that on video. That was gorgeous. He came out, or she came out like a no tomorrow. Y'all see that little bit of blood on the tail right there? See that? She's sitting on the bed rubbing it. Sitting there just hanging out. Y'all, they're onto these frogs. I just think it's the subtleness of it. It's just, it creeps up on their bed. It's a 438, four. This is four, 403 guys. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. nervous right here y'all <laughs> come right right it clears this right there big old white mouth come out guys it's chatterbait time with this wind that's for sure you gotta make some noise i know they can't hear this frog i gotta pretty much land on them Throw that walker, bro. Throw that walker and walk it through here yeah. with the rattles in it. Tie that on here in a minute, y'all. Golly, my heart's still throbbing. My heart's not even slowed down yet from that last fish. I can still finally feel my blood pressure going down. She's gonna give me a heart attack out here on the boat. Yeah, dog. All right, guys, we kind of moved down a little bit. It's, it's windy. This is probably the windiest day we've ever been out here. Windiest day we've ever had out here, so. It ain't gonna stop the fish bite, though. It's gonna be hard for us to position our lures properly, I know that. But they literally, they should be right in here. There's not a doubt in my mind. I'm gonna see a big old goat come out of there. I don't know if I can see this little edge right here. I'm gonna try to cross through that edge and I'm gonna try to run through this little outside layer. You can tell that the sun's been out, the grass is growing, kind of growing. You start getting that real uh, soft moss. The stuff that kind of sticks to your lures pretty well. Windy as heck, but we might catch the biggest fish we've ever caught in this type of weather. You never know. I don't even got to reel it in. The wind's taking my braid. Come on, I dare you, rip your lips off. I see a, a spot back there. It's, 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 it's uh, the wind's not hitting it, I can say. Kind of, we'll get back there probably here in a minute. Sticking the wind dragging that. Oh yeah. Y'all be a little bit patient with those guys where this, this thing is, this wind is so strong, it's dragging us. I believe we'll pull a couple more in the boat. Let's wait for a big old blue boom. 
Guys, I almost want to bring out my uh, my Diamante. I might bring that out here because I feel like that big old thing walking through here with the rattles. I think they might sneak it. Oh, shit. I think they might come out and grab that bad boy. Cool part about this place, guys, is shallow as hell back here. Like for real. They can be spawning in five feet or less. So this whole place is money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? Well, not shorty, what you drink? What you drink? Female bass. We're about to see an explosion here in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. I, I, I can feel it, boy. Ooh, I wish that thing would quit dragging us because I want to stay away from this area right here. I don't know if y'all can see that frog, but that frog should be scared. That frog's like it's surfing. Damn, man, that stupid wind. That, that wind's missing up, missing up our boat positioning. Ooh, God. We're about to tie onto a lunker, y'all. Come on, six pounder, seven pounder. Come on out of there. Yeah, yeah. waiting I'm waiting there's look at this this is perfect perfect I don't know if y'all can see this hydrilla this brand new hydrilla coming up or whatever it's called it's beautiful and real bright green let's wait for the <laughs> Crazy old, crazy working out. Look, my arms gonna be swole. Chris is like, bitch, I almost fell in. <laughs> Here, I got this. Guys, that's gonna end our video today, guys. This is the wind the most windiest day we've ever had. Uh, we barely made it. We have like a little trolling motor, it's about a 40 pound thrust, and we had to use the paddle. Man, it's rough out here, guys. It's real rough out here. We caught a couple of Judy's. I think I got I missed about four, like literally four frog fish. I know there, there's one that was a five pounder, 
for sure. There's not a doubt in my mind, but yeah, guys, it's, it's white capping out here. But we're gonna have to pick this up and do this some other day. Hope y'all can hear me. But yeah, it's rough, but it's a uh, full spawn. It's full spawn, guys. So our next trip, it should be game time. So I hope y'all like the content. It's gonna be a short video. Um, I think I got another video I can post behind this one. I went out there to my local spot with my friend and uh, I might be able to get that content sent out, but uh, y'all stay tuned. Please support, like, hit the channel, share it with y'all family member. I need the support, so thank you guys, appreciate it.